What's up guys? Good morning. A little breakfast. Shout out to uh, Travis Scott. I actually like peanut butter a lot. I'm not gonna say I don't eat dairy, but I do. But when I do have the chance to, you know, go plant-based, I, you know, I try my best to. Here, let's give it a try. So today I will be talking about my last 10 pickups, personal pickups. So if you know me, you guys know that I run AZ Thread, Mr. AZ Thread on Instagram. So if you haven't checked this out, Go ahead, uh, give us, uh, check us out on Instagram. And if you haven't liked, subscribe, or comment on this video, make sure you do so. We have a lot of cool stuff we'll be talking about. This is the first one, so um, look for improvements. So let's get started. My first personal pickup that I will be talking about is the Travis Scott 4. Big Jordan head. So when it comes to 3s, 4s, 5s, 11s, um, I'm always a big fan. You know, sometimes I wish uh, Drake would have done, you know, a 3, a 4, or a 5. But Travis Scott went went ahead and did his uh, Houston Oilers colorway. You know, if you see it. I don't know, man. This is such a dope color. And when it comes to Jordans, it has to have red on it. If it doesn't have red, uh, sometimes it turns me away from the shoe. But it's a very good pick. When they first came out, they were going around like 400 bucks. Now they're going for like 700 bucks. So I had to make sure I had to get a pair before, you know, they they go up to like 1500 which I believe they will. So that brings me to my next shoe. And and uh and don't forget that I don't keep a lot of shoes that come into the shop just because I got bills to pay and stuff like that. But uh my second shoe I will be talking about would be the Travis Scott 1. Uh, death stock. I believe I paid 950 for these. I was out in California when they dropped uh, for some business stuff and uh, I struck out but I was able to get my hands on a pair. My size 2 death stock. The pink with the red box and the brown box. Really cool. Really different than you know you can see the sycamore face. Pretty nice. And I also like that it has a little pouch right here. Just in case you go to concerts and you know you don't have no pockets and you want to put your merch money, put it in there. Pretty cool. These I will break out probably at uh, our grand opening on September 28th. Check us out on Instagram. Back to the, my sneakerhead uh, movement. That I'm a big three, four, five, eleven type of guy. Don't get me wrong, I like ones too. Uh, it's so cliche to say ones are my favorite shoes. Just because it's everybody's favorite shoes now, but of all time, you know, I gotta give it up to those silhouettes. My third shoe I will be talking about will be the Levi 4. I actually like this shoe. It has really good material. I wear a lot of Levi's, so I feel like I had to get this one. I wish they would have done it a little bit more gray, but I like the gum bottom. The Levi right there, the Levi inside. Cool. This is also desk stock. Um, I usually wear a lot of original colorway shoes, like on my daily. But uh, definitely this one looks like you know it will, it will it will hold up got the little card too pretty cool you know i like this, this is the kind of stuff i like that jordan does you know for the sneaker heads not the ones that are just in it for the hype this pair i will be talking about um is actually one of my favorites um and i have a couple of these and when i when i had the chance to get a second pair i actually jump on it um it's the supreme five um i actually like this better than the white and the black the uh, reason why is because um, I just feel like it's worth your money. The black one kind of looks like a metallic or the uh, the Paris one. And then the white one looks a little too plain for me. So when you're spending a lot of money on shoes, man, you got to, you know, you got to break neck. So, you know, this is the very one that, that stands out. So I really like it. So I had to jump on this. I also like the box. Supreme Jordan. Pretty dope. Ten and a half my size. Pretty cool. I just like soggy cereal, so I had to kill it before it went bad. So my fifth pair I will be talking about, the fifth pair I will be talking about today will be the Ferrari 14. They just dropped the yellow one. Like I said before, I'm a big Jordan fan. When they do the Toro, they do the Red Sway, they, you know, make it really fuzzy. I'm a big fan of that, and I have to get this. Size 11, but I feel like they run a little small little toe box right here. Uh, this is another shoe that I will definitely be breaking out. I feel like shoes... You know, got to stand out and you know, Ferrari 14 is one that stands out. Okay, so now we had a couple of these at the shop. Just never got a pair. Um, I have uh, 2015 Chicago and 2013 Chicago. Um, but this one's been growing on me. It's the Spider-Man 1. 
I don't know if you guys can see the little texture on the uh, leather. Pretty cool. The icy blue bottom. This is what I really like though. I like when uh, Nike does really cool stuff to make them stand out. Uh, so they have the little blue, uh, blue and red tag right there. And also on the red laces, I don't know if you guys can see uh, the little um, blue tips. Really cool. See, I don't like shoes that have a white linen or have a white insole. So this, this is what I really, really, really like. You know, there's blue inside, so it makes it look unique. Um, over time, um, they'll they'll look a little cleaner just because it's not white. But uh, that stock icy blue bottom, Spider-Man texture. I think that's what it's called. But definitely one that you should pick up if you are into the Jordan Rounds. We'll be talking about my seventh pickup. So, you know, back to what I was talking about, about being a classic and being an OG colorway. Um, so cliche to say ones are my favorite shoes, just because it's everybody's favorite shoe. But um, I also do like the ones. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of ones. Um, and I prefer leather ones. So when the satin, uh, satin black toe came out, um, I actually really liked it. Um, I liked the fact that it was all leather, so you could, you know, wear it and beat it up a little bit. And then it ha has a little bit of satin, um, but uh, on the back. But on this shoe, I feel like you can ha you're gonna have to uh, fold your pants just that way the satin doesn't get stained. I don't know if you guys had this issue, but I have some of this issue um, when I wear some of my favorite shoes that are not leather. They they tend to get a little stained. But I like I like the fact that it was all leather, you know, original. A lot of people don't know this is one of the first shoes that Jordan ever wore. Um, if you see uh, the magazine cover, he has this shoe tied around his neck, not the band or not the Chicago, but um, they did a really good job on this. So, you know, shout out to JB. So, uh, shout out to uh, King Charles over at Ben Haddos. If you if you don't know who that is, make sure you check him out on Instagram. Um, he's just he just blessed me with some Obsidian UNC ones. Um, so we will be having a four and a half, a six, a seven. Uh, eight and a half, a nine and a half, a ten, eleven, and a twelve. Uh, coming up on Monday. So shout out to him. Uh, we've been doing business for uh over, I'm gonna say three years. So uh, really good. But this brings me to my eighth and ninth pair. Another thing too about me is I just don't buy all these shoes because there's so many shoes and I would run out of money. Um, eventually, just because shoes are not, you know, they're not cheap no more. So when it comes for the love of the game. Um, when it comes to stuff that I admire, to it comes to people that I look up to, and they do collabs, and they especially do a Phoenix Way colorway, uh, you know, um, I I oh I always have to get it. So uh, undefeated, they just released the Kobe Bryant uh, undefeated pack. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I only got the Phoenix Suns colorway and the Laker colorway. Uh, Phoenix because um, you know, PHX, you know, 602, you know what it is. Devin Booker put these on and you know it's gonna be dope and then I also got the uh, the Laker colorway um, You know I haven't hooped in fours uh, Just because I haven't found pairs that I you know that I hold up or you know don't show signs of ungluing But uh, these I probably won't hoop in um, These will probably be displayed in my uh, in my house just because I'm a big Kobe Bryant fan and uh, for them to do an undefeated collab uh, There's not there, there's not that many pairs out once everybody starts using them uh, once Kuzma starts playing in them um, a lot of people are gonna want them and you know Kobe's just you know when they're gone they're gone so so this brings me to my last pickup if you know me personally if you went to high school with me or if you see me back in the day before AZ thread uh, and you see this shoe this shoe should remind you of me this shoe holds a, a special place in my heart um, back in high school, uh, I think the first person I, I seen wear these were uh, Drake. He was wearing um, uh, these shoes. He was wearing a CDG uh, black and white stripe. Uh, and, and as soon as I seen them, man, I, I was like, man, I had to get them. And at the time, um, they came out in a pack. And, uh, you know, growing up in West Phoenix, um, not being, you know, from the States and not being able to work, it was a little difficult to get shoes. But uh, throughout high school, I managed, uh, I managed myself to um, get all the shoes I wanted. And uh, so, um, you know, I bring to you guys uh, my favorite shoe of all time, um, the Raging Bull 5. Uh, I have like five pairs of these. But uh, because it's my favorite shoe, I tend to pick it up every time I see it. Um, you know, it's a very slipped on shoe. 
Uh, they they brought the trophy rooms. Uh, those were nice, but it's not like this. You know, the black and red. They brought off some all red suede fives, but you know it, it it you know it ain't this. You know what I mean? Um, this this shoe is my favorite. Will forever be my favorite. Yeah, I have Concords, uh, Space Jams. Uh, black cement threes, white cement threes, bread fours, bread ones, but this one for sure is my favorite one. Um, I I believe I was in California, and if you guys can see, I only paid two fifty for it, which you know that's the price of a you know a general release shoe nowadays. So I had to jump on this, and uh, these I don't ever sell. You know we might post some shoes on uh on AZ Thread, or we might get some uh some really cool shoes. But 10, 10 and a half, we don't sell. Uh, we tend to keep all of them. Well, I tend to keep all of them just because, you know, you just don't find this shoe no more. Um, so that that would be a wrap up for uh, my latest 10 personal pickups. Um, grand opening will be September 28th. We're going to be located on Central and Camelback. Um, I believe uh, it's going to be a good turnout. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff for you guys. We've been uh, working really, really hard. Um, and I want to also give a shout out to uh, my wife Leslie, uh, Lessonex, uh, Lessonex Cosmetics, and Leslie Thread. Um, I'm not a guy. I'm not the type to be on camera, but uh, you know, I'm stepping in out of my comfort zone and I'm trying to do things that I'm not used to. Another little uh, view of my personal life uh, to share with you guys, and you know, the stuff that is influence or the stuff that I like that I'm into. So make sure you like, subscribe, um, and keep a lookout for our next video.